Sarah. My name is Marta. And today we're having an Elisheta tour, which is the student housing here at Eunice. Oh, love it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hallway in building 17, and here everybody will uh, take off the shoe before they enter the building. building. Over here we have the entrance to the student study area. Spaces, um, okay. group work, or um, by yourself, and sometimes the Sampirtan hosts events here, and yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> Do you want to show us the kitchen? Yeah, that's the kitchen. Uh, there's a very complicated function. Uh, you have to press here to turn on the electricity. It took me three minutes. <laughs> but the electricity is there, so yeah. but it's nice. <laughs> we have the weapon uh, lockers. Yes. They are uh, one floor down. Okay, the rifle. Oh, yeah, I have. First, you need to get the key from some ship tunnel. And then, if you have a um, flare gun, for instance, then you need to lock in the. You can lock in the ammunition and the flare gun. But also, if you have a rifle, you need to lock in the bolt and the ammunition. The rifle is uh, locked into my room. Okay. Yeah. So then you get a locker. You can store your stuff inside the locker. So this is where you put all the recycling and your trash and paper and metal and glass. Building 15 is for like long-term residents, so if you're staying for a whole semester, and building 17 uh, is more for short-term residents, or sh if you're staying for a short time. <laughs> the Samship Nan office is at ground floor. You need to contact the Samship Nan. This is one way to do it. Then you can go down to ground floor and find their office. And this is their uh, office hours from 9 to 3, from Monday to Friday. Why would you go here? To get the locker for your rifle, for instance, or if you need to extend your yeah. rent, mm. um, or if you maybe want to switch kitchen with someone, maybe, yeah. or... or if you just have some questions. Yeah. <laughs> Place where you can store your outdoor stuff. Like a storage room. It's not that much down here. I think like, there's a lot more in my building. Yeah, in building 15, I think it's much It's more like more. a lot of bikes or some... Yeah, but if you have a bike, if you have a pool, you can store it down here. If you have skis, you can store it down here. And it's locked, so it's only people that have access to Elverstetta that gets in. This is the laundry room. And you also need the key to get into the laundry room. They have a lot of different cloths and that you can use from, so you don't have to buy it yourself here. Um, so if you want to clean the floor or in the kitchen or surfaces. Uh, to use the washing machines, you need an app, which is called App Wash. Yeah. And then, if you want to turn on, for instance, this washing machine, with this number, you just find uh, the right washing machine here and press start. To use the washing machine you need to add some money to your account. So you pay 25 kroners every time you're using the washing machine. And then you get a notification when your wash is finished. Dryers free, uh, but they also have a drying room because they don't want you to dry it in your own. Yes. This is actually my clothes from yesterday. <laughs> I forgot about it. <laughs> oh, 
drive room, they have drying racks and also cleaning products and a vacuum that's like shared over the floor. And also there's a sink over there. So I, when I wash my room, it's very nice because you don't have to like buy any cleaning products or any um, like a mop or anything because they have it here. But it's also super nice to dry your shoes or your sleeping bag or Thanks. things, tents that got wet because it's super warm. Mm. And now we will show you the big kitchens. So this is uh, one of the big uh, kitchens at the... Uh, bon appétit! <laughs> <laughs> it smells so nice. Yeah. So everyone gets like their own drawer, 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 drawer. Um, and one cupboard. Mm -hmm. um, but there are a lot of common stuff here, um, like plates, cups, glasses. And there's two dishwashers, two sinks, and two everything. Our kitchen is so nice. Different so you get like a you get one shelf and then you get a drawer in the freezer and the big kitchens are usually for how many people up to 12 we up to 12 up to 12 we are 11 right now we're nine oh. are people sharing room in your room uh, yeah kitchen. me and christopher is <laughs> sharing the room and to use the ovens and the electricity in this kitchen you need to beat your chip towards this one uh, this is also a nice place for uh, parties and uh, gatherings and also if you just want to have a TV night or a movie night or something, then it's the perfect place. Kitchen is watching Game of Thrones or the House of Dragons now every evening, so it's a nice way <laughs> for uh, the kitchen to have a gathering that's not like super uh, formal. Come in! Hi! Hi! <laughs> How do you like living in this kitchen? I really like it. It's very nice. Good people, good food. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of the smaller kitchens, which is for a maximum of eight people sharing the kitchen. So you have everything once. It's my kitchen actually. Yeah. And the setup. Otherwise it's the same, it's just smaller. <laughs> and everybody just decorates their kitchen with yeah, cool stuff, stuff like the unicorn. Too. Decorate for Christmas, I think. Yeah! And that's the view, which is Sukkotopen. And then it's the bedrooms. They are very nice. And here you have a lot of uh, storage. Closet. Clothes. And also some more here for your shoes and jackets. And every room like this have uh, bunk beds, so you can choose if you want to sleep downstairs or upstairs. And you have a desk and yeah, the bathroom. Each room comes with a private bathroom. It's kind of like a hotel room to be fair, but so we have a sink shower, everything you need. I have three different types of room. Uh, you have these uh, single rooms with a shared kitchen, but also you can share these rooms by sending a mail to some trip Mountain and ask if you can be two people, like one sleeping upstairs and one sleeping downstairs. Also, we have uh, two different uh, apartments and one of them is uh, the one where you share the same bed and the other one is where you have two separate uh, bedrooms. So, I'm Fabienne, the person usually behind the cameras, but I also want to share some further practical information regarding housing with you. So in order to apply for housing here, you have to be enrolled into a, a course at UNES. Get information about that when you are enrolled and get your acceptance letter and everything. And then you can select between the two, uh, three different types of rooms, like the single rooms with a shared kitchen, the single room apartment with the own kitchen, or the two bedroom apartment. Um, yeah, and then you get a contract offer, everything is online, 
you uh, pay online on a monthly base, you get an invoice and yeah, it's as easy as that. And when you come here uh, on the day of your arrival, your room will be unlocked with the keys inside. You get an explanation on how to find your room, but there's also a lot of other students around to help you. And yeah, then you just move in. So if you have any more questions related to student accommodation here, just let us know in the comments. So this was our Elvis letter tour and we hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>